This video shows the collaboration between different plan tools with focus on data management of your projects. We show different workflows as they happen during your daily work. You will see the plan tools Plant Reporter, Plant Link and Plant Data Manager. Detailed functions of these three plan tools will be shown in separate videos. This chapter explains the possibilities if no drawings have been created yet. As you can see, there are no drawings. Nevertheless, you have to create lists without having any drawing. So far, you very likely used Microsoft Excel for that to create and manage these lists. Plan Data Manager allows you to create these data in your project right away. And you can later place these data into your drawings. Objects which do not exist in any drawing are called graphical not placed objects. First, we select the project. As you can see, there are no data. We will add objects with graphic. The structure shown here is the exact same structure as in AutoCAD PIN-ID. First, we add a standard tank. Next, we can type in a tag. For an easier distinction of graphical not placed objects, they appear in a different color. Another feature of the Plan Data Manager is the use of relationships. Therefore, we will add an agitator to the tank. The agitator is a graphical not placed object too. The agitator gets an electrical motor. The tank gets two instruments. Now we need another pump with another motor. The relationships of the individual objects can be seen in a separate dialog box. You can see that the motor is shown under the pump. For the tank, we see the related agitator as well as the two instruments and the motor under the agitator. A double click on an object jumps to the dataset of that object directly. You see the tank in bold letters. This means that the tank is the owner of the agitator. If you click on the motor, you see the agitator in bold as the owner. Double-clicking on an owner allows you to move up in the structure. Next, we use Plant Link to assign catalog data from an external database. For that, we select a function from the context menu. The data view window opens and shows the available datasets. If you select the dataset, the data from the external database will be copied into the data fields of the object. We do the same for the tank. Even though we still don't have any drawing, you can create lists of these not placed objects with Plant Reporter. Here you see a simple list of the not placed objects. Of course, you can create an equipment list as a Microsoft Excel file too. At some point, you want to bring these objects into drawings. For that, we first need to create a drawing in AutoCAD PIN-ID.
To open the Plan Data Manager plugin, you need to click on Data Import. The user interface shows as a standard AutoCAD palette, hence it is dockable. At the tab GNPO, you see all the objects which still have to be placed in drawings. On the left side, you see the familiar class structure. Let's make a right click on the tank and select Place Object. The tank is attached to your crosshair and behaves as usual when inserted. Next, you annotate the tank with the standard AutoCAD PINID functionality. Next, we continue with the remaining objects. You don't need to worry about the order of the objects when inserted. This chapter concentrates on the possibilities if drawings and data do already exist. We will add lines and valves to the drawing. Next, we will annotate the lines. Since we didn't enter any data, we see only four question marks. Let's go back to Plant Data Manager. If we update the view, the green data have become black. The graphical not placed objects have become placed objects. The class structure on the left shows many more classes now. Let's go to the pipeline segments and edit the text for those two. Double clicking opens the dialog box. Select and enter your data as usual. You recognize that the values in the other properties have changed too. Next, the second pipeline segment. Plan Data Manager considers acquisition rules of AutoCAD P92. Through selecting size and spec, the values of the valves have acquired the same value. The same applies to the nozzles. Next, we fill in some data for the instruments. Last, for the motors.
The first pipeline segment gets a control valve which later can be inserted into the drawing. When you create a control valve, you can select the body and actuator. This combination will then be used when the valve is placed into a drawing. If we take a look at the relationship of the control valve, we see the assigned actuator and the owning pipeline segment. Let's transfer the changes we made in Plant Data Manager into the drawing. We select Data Import again. You see the control valve, which could be inserted now. But let's concentrate on the added data for now. Select the Data Import tab and select the transfer file, which contains all changes. You see the changes in yellow too. Now you can go step by step and either accept or reject a change or globally accept or reject all changes. We see that all the changes have been accepted. Sometimes you want to add objects to your project which are not supposed to appear in any drawing. These objects we call non-graphical not placed objects. This could be a valve which controls another valve. Or instrument pieces which aren't needed in the drawing but are needed for the instrument list. For these objects you have another button. Other than that the non-graphical behave like the graphical not placed objects. First let's add another nozzle to the pump for a drainage. Again, for an easier distinction of these two types of not placed objects, they appear in different colors. We see the new nozzle related to the pump. The two motors get a gear. As you can see, the tag will be checked for uniqueness. The gear is related to the motor too. Now, some catalog data for the gears. With Plant Reporter, we look at some examples. First, an equipment list including the not placed objects. As an example, the not placed objects get a blue background color. Next, we look at equipment data sheets with an included nozzle list. We see the pump with our third nozzle. Last, an instrument list in a preview. Plant Link cannot only be used within Plant Data Manager, but within AutoCAD PNID and AutoCAD Plant 3D too. For that, we open AutoCAD PNIDs slash Plant 3D's Data Manager or the AutoCAD Properties palette. For model number, we select the appropriate dataset. If you know the key value, you can type in this value directly without using the data window. 
please be aware that the settings of plan tools are just examples to show the workflows. All three plan tools, plant reporter, plant link and plant data manager, shown in this video are much more powerful than what you just saw. For that, you will find more detailed videos. More information can be found under www.catstudio.com or www.acplant.com. Thanks for your attention.